Um, since I switched to fish, I explore the community and looking at my options and share my findings sometimes. But because I know how much you hate AI on Shell, okay, not everyone but some, I promise it won't take long. So don't get upset, pretty please. It will be finished before you can say fish. So there is this six months old project that basically is a fish plugin in Python that puts some AI bits on terminal and most specifically suggestions and auto completions. Anyway, what you need to do for getting it. First, you should create a simple configuration file for the agent you want to use. And in the case of the open AI, you basically should add the SDK key and the model you want to use. The other thing is to install the plugin, obviously. You can do that in two seconds with Fisher. Now, on the open AI side, and just in case you don't know, there's a pay-as-you-go plan where you can add as many credits as you want. I think the minimum is $5, and for casual terminal use, it will last forever. All right, let's actually use it. Um, and let's say we want to clone Nautilus. We add a hash, and then we can ask it to clone Nautilus from GNOME GitLab. So basically, we already saved the time to open a web browser for checking the repo and come back to terminal for pasting it. And of course, the same applies every time we leave the terminal for searching for a command we don't know. No need to do that. Ever. Again. Okay, control P to activate it. And by the way, I use GPT-40 mini. All right, we got it already. <laughs> In around three seconds. I bet that's faster than going the web browser way, huh? And we can do the opposite too. When we have a command, we can press control P again and it will explain it. So clone the Nautilus repository from GitLab into a new directory named Nautilus. This command creates a local copy of the repository, allowing you to work with it. The URL specifies the location of the remote repository to be cloned. And if the explanation sounds boring, you actually can change the way the model responds to even talk like your favorite anime character. Maybe I'll show you next. Now control P to create a command from this prompt and be charged again, but it's really nothing. Okay, one last thing. Oh, wait, before, let's talk about privacy. So the plugin sends to OpenAI your operating system name and obviously the terminal buffer, which I don't believe is that terrible in this case, but certainly you should be extra cautious with data you really don't want to share. Now we cleared that up, let's look at fuzzy finder suggestions. Fuzzy Finder is already bundled to the fish plugin, so you don't need to download it, and we can activate it with control and space. And there you go, chief. We actually have AI auto completions on commands. How freaking awesome is that? From the plugin options, we can set how many we want, but it has the shallow clone already, which is probably the one I use the most when clone. Nice guess, I guess. And the explanation, which is better than the official manual because Every time it will be different, so you never get bored of reading. Basically, AI on Shell not only making things hell more faster, but we actually learn things too. Hola, jefe. You can be the very best in Linux, but you will still eat my terminal dust. 